is that Greg asked me what I thought about renting a whore to come to my office during my lunch hour. I know I only get 20 minutes for lunch, but believe me, Maureen, after 14 months, five minutes is more than enough. So the thing is, Maureen, I told Greg that I, I couldn't cheat on you. I really couldn't. I, I love you. I really do. Look, will you shut up? I'm trying to explain something. It's okay. I know Greg is an asshole. I know he's an asshole. It's a given. All right. So Greg suggested a Thai massage. Well, I don't care where. A Valencia, for all I care. Okay, look, they're not whores. They're not prostitutes, Maureen. They are professional working women who, if you slip them a few bucks, might possibly give you a happy ending. So Greg and I went. And Greg said to me, look, at the end of the massage, just roll over on your back and she puts her hand on the towel and, you know, happy ending. So we pay her the money, she takes me into this room, tells me to strip off, lie on my stomach. And I thought to myself, this is a bit like a doctor's visit, except if Dr. McDougall offered me a happy ending, I'd freak out. So anyway, I'm lying there and this Thai girl comes in. She's beautiful, yes. Well, okay, no, all right, she wasn't that beautiful. I meant to say that. She was okay. She's okay. She gives me this amazing massage. Uh, I mean, if it hadn't ended so badly, I'd take it there myself. I mean, it was almost painful. I, I felt like melted butter. What are you asking that for? My cock, of course, it was hard. It was like rock hard. The police arrive, and I'm still sitting there buck naked. No, Maureen, for Christ's sake, my cock was not still hard. So I explain the misunderstanding. The cop writes me a ticket and says, next time you want a happy ending, sir, Go to Baskin Robbins and get yourself a Sunday. <laughs>